Here we have a Nico NC01. Today, can I tell what type of rider this person is by the wear and tear on his bike? So today we're going to just go through a couple of things on the bike and I'll be able to tell you how the person rides their bike just by looking at how the bike has worn. So this bike has 3,800 miles on it. First thing to tell is obviously the general condition of the bike. This bike is kind of tidy. It does have some road dirt on it. And you can tell that this is used for a daily commuter just because of doesn't matter how often you ride your bike you, there's still places on the bike that you can't get that dirt out and you can tell by the color of the dirt on the wheel whether they've been using it on road off road if it's like a gray sort of color then it's generally used on road and that's sort of salt and dirt and tire dust off of the other vehicles going onto that wheel should you clean it off? Shouldn't you clean it off? There's certain parts that you definitely should clean it off. And there's definitely some parts of the year that you should definitely clean it off. Like in winter, you should really clean your bike at least once every two weeks. Because of the salt on the road, you don't want it to get that into your metal on your uh, bikes because it will corrode it. But during the summer, should you leave it? Sometimes it makes a coating of a greasy compound that protects it slightly from the elements. So it's 50-50 is in the summer, whether you should clean it every two weeks or every month or so. There are certain places, like I said, that you do need to maintain it clean and service regularly, i.e. the forks. You should really go around those with a greasy rag once a week, just, just wipe them off. Once they start getting pitted, you're going to start getting issues with um, your fork seals go because the rust is going to go up and down those fork seals and it's just going to wear them away. So best off just cleaning it up. This one is quite clean. Now, another thing to remember is if you don't use the bike every day, those forks are going to get dirtier than if you use them every day because uh, as soon as a little bit of dirt goes on those forks, it could get wiped off by the bike itself. If you leave them sitting with the dirt on them, it's going to corrode them faster. So remember, always clean your bike, especially around the forks, at least once a week, once every two weeks. Another thing, this chain on this bike hasn't been maintained. Now, I have done a service on it, and what you find is it is tight when you go up to it. As soon as you put some lube on it, it gave me an inch, an inch and a half's worth of play. So you can see that on this plate. You can't see the play because I've already done it. But this was an after fall video. I just thought you might want to see if I can tell how this bike is ridden. Now, thank you for supporting the channel. If you do want to help me out to get to that 10,000 subscribers, please hit that subscribe button to stay updated to my latest content. And hopefully when we hit at 10,000, my channel is gonna get a little bit more momentum and people are gonna start noticing it from um, some of the importers in the UK. Anyway, back to the bike. Now, if you look at the rear tire, compared to the front tire, you're gonna see that the rear tire is now legally, it needs to be changed. Now, this means that the, the person who's been riding the bike has been using that accelerator quite hard um, and maybe doing a couple of wheel spins. It's not my bike, I can't tell them what to do. If they want to do wheel spins, they can do wheel spins, but you will have to replace the tire more often. Now, this one's getting to legal limit, but what you'll find is they are a very upright rider because it is worn completely around the center of the uh, wheel and not a lot around the side. So that means they're a little bit wary about leaning over from side to side when going around corners. So you'll find that when they're riding, they're gonna be upright and not turning correctly, shall we say. Um, this uh, will end up wearing your tires unevenly, or this person likes to use their front brake, not so much their back brake. You can tell because the front brake is almost worn out and it is starting to bed into the disc. So it's not legally required for them to change it yet because there still is some pad left, but it will be an advisory for them to, to change that in the future. Really and truthfully, I would suggest to change the disc on this one as well because it has started to bed unevenly. You can, in theory, sand it down and make it even again, but if it gets below three mil, you've, you're supposed to change it. 
the back wheel is worn, but the brake pads on the rear aren't. The front tyre isn't worn, and the brakes are. So they don't like yanking on those front brakes, but they do use those front brakes more than they use the back ones. Generally, the bike is in really good condition. It is dirty, but your bike's going to get dirty. The owner of this bike does look after the bike. And in conditions today, uh, UK roads, downpours and all that sort of stuff, it's going to get dirty. Just make sure you protect it beforehand. You can use something like ACF 50. Don't spray on your tyres, don't spray it on your brakes, but pretty much everything else. And that should stop it from corroding. Also, make sure you clean it. So anyway, this is just a snapshot of can I figure out how this person writes. And this is the information that I found. Hopefully you'll find this information useful and go and check on your bike and see how you ride with the information that I provided and tell me in the comments below. There's, there is right ways and wrong ways of riding a motorcycle, but we're not really here to judge. We're just here to inform people. So don't think that we're going to judge you if you get it wrong. Just know that now you know the right way to do it and everything is a learning experience. So thank you for watching my video. Hopefully you've got some information out of it and hopefully you'll hit that subscribe button to help me get 10,000 followers by the end of the year. But as always, ride safe.